Hello world and welcome back to a new vlog from Golfing the Villages. Courses have continued to reopen and the summertime course maintenance schedule is in full effect. Today we have traveled over to the Southern Star Executive Golf Course, which is the sister course to Yankee Clipper. Southern Star was built in 2011 and shares a similar opening hole design with its sister course. Southern Star is located in the village of St. James and is a level 3 rated golf course as assigned by the village's rating system. Even par for this course is 28 strokes, and the fourth hole is a drivable par 4, which will hopefully provide some extra excitement. The standard 3 teeing locations applies to this course as well, and for today's round, we decided to play the course from the tips. For the spin around the track, we are looking at a maximum of 1,682 total playable yards. So without further ado, let's get after it. Welcome now to the first tee for Southern Star. This hole is a par three playing 151 yards to the center and 155 to the pin. And we're gonna start off with an eight iron just cause we're a little cold starting off here. This is not well hit. This is off to the right, not well struck. Gonna carry the bunker, but it's gonna be in the rough and that rough is up a little bit. Something I'm starting to see around the courses is they're letting the rough grow a little bit and that might be because of the water, but I actually kind of like that versus the real tight villages rough. So this now is a 56 degree that I hit way too hard. I just tried to carry it up the hill and give myself some kind of look. However, this look is 27 feet back down the hill toward the flag. So not the best of efforts. You could see it bobbled a few times and then wow, that, that, that thing just rolls out a lot more than I was anticipating. And so with, with this tough six footer up the hill for an opening bogey is what we find ourselves doing, rolling it up and just oh, couldn't get it in the hole. That is a quick double bogey oh. start. Yikes. Well, after making the quick double on the last hole, we step up to the second tee now, also a par three, 127 yards to the center, but actually playing 136 to the pin. This pin is in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the pitching wedge, although I probably could have made a case for hitting a nine iron since I'm still not quite loose yet. This ball is also flared to the right. The face is left open. It's gonna miss the green severely to the right, but we're gonna have a chance up and down. All right, so having missed the green here, this is somewhat short-sighted. You can see the green is well above me. I took the 56 degree, opened it up, needed to hit it a little bit harder to get it to uh, carry and stop at the same time. So now I decided to go ahead with the putter from the green side fringe here. And obviously you see the bobble, but still had pretty decent line and almost uh, well, scared the hole, I guess. So now we've got 10 feet for a quick bogey on the second hole. That would bring us to three over. We're rolling it up to the cup and that just slides past. Pretty good pace though, a foot pass. So just going to go ahead and tap this in for a double-double, which, ooh, good in basketball, but not good. That's going to be a triple-double. Wow. Yeah, a triple and a double is good on a basketball court, not on the golf course. Now we step up to the third tee here, 166 yards, but 161 to the pin. I'm gonna go ahead and select the eight iron here and I'm gonna give it heck. This is well struck now. It stays left of the flag, just does not turn and stays straight. So that's gonna miss the green as well. So lots of poor strikes with my irons today it means I missed the third green in a row. This now with a 56, trying to get it up and down. Didn't open up the face quite as much, took a little more direct low line, ran out, and now this is uh, nine feet to the hole to try and save par. Rolling it up and get in there. Oh man, could not get in there. That's gonna be another bogey. We're gonna go to six over through three holes, yikes. Yeah, 
my water is on full boil and I am full tilt, let's just say. This now, the fourth hole, is a par four. It is 285 to the center, but only 278 to the pin. For those of you that watch this channel know that this is in my range. I've got enough pop in the bat to get this on the green, which is what I'm going for right here. A little bit of a draw. Start this out to the right and whoopsie daisy, that is a snap hook. That is moving left hard quickly, not well struck. It's gonna catch the rough and I'm gonna have at least a chance. This is not what I had envisioned for the start of this round or this hole, but nevertheless, we are 71 yards from the flag. You can see the ball is in the rough and the club, when I set the club down, it's all the way, it's buried in the grass, basically. Uh, this 56 is gonna come out with very little spin, so I need to control the strike. And this is not really great. This is long, this is about 20 yards long. With quite literally everything going the wrong way now, I'm on the back of the green here with the 56, just hoping to make something. It'd be great if I could hold this for a birdie, but this is rolling out nicely. This is well done. Nice this shot. is finally something going the right way. Uh, now we've got two feet to the hole, but that's not a gimme. We gotta get it in there, and hopefully we can make a par and stop the bleeding. Yes, in the hole for par. to shake off what happened before as we step up to the 50 now 170 yards to the center 181 to the pin i went ahead and decided on the six iron there is a little bit of wind coming in and this one does seem to play a touch uphill now i'm just looking to put a good swing on and it'd be great if i could hit a green that would be spectacular This draw now starts at the center of the green and hooks hard to the left. This is not even going to make the green. It's not going to make the trap and it's going to be in the rough. Oh, when it rains, it pours. Let's try to get all this bad golf out in one vlog. This is the fifth miss green here and this 56 degree, I'm gonna stick it in the ground kind of hard because I gotta carry all the way to this flag. But as it gets to that point, it starts to roll away and that wasn't great, but better than, better than average, I guess. 15 feet now to the hole for par. Let's see if the putter can get involved as we roll this up to the cup and whoa, that hits. It hits and redirects. Oh my gosh, what a par that would have been. I've got to tap this in for a bogey and oh, disappointed but happy. happy that it wasn't more than a bogey. All right, so now the sixth hole is 120 yards to the center and 118 to the pin. For me, this is a good gap wedge. I feel like this is in my range and maybe I could get something going here and get a birdie on the card because we are at plus seven. I mean, that is oof, tough start here. This gap wedge is pretty well struck, although it hangs to the left, maybe goes a little left. It's going to hit on the green and we do have a long range look at birdie. So this long range birdie look is from 27 feet. There's not too much movement in it. And again, like I said, the greens were kind of spongy and a little soft. So just gonna put some good pace on this, get it up to the cup and whoa, that had a chance of going in. I wonder if the flag was uh, out that might've gone in. But anyway, now we've got two feet into the cup for par. Can we do it? Uh, yes, we can. just our second par of the round recorded we stand on the seventh tee kind of a similar yardage to the last hole 124 to the center and 122 to the pin there is a bunker that we do have to cover here again i'm going to stay with the gap wedge how bad could it be 
and this is a pretty good strike now high and coming back toward the flag it's going to hit on the other side of the green can't see it but it looks like it's good Always a little anxious when you can't see it land, but it did finish 16 feet to the hole here. This is a slightly uphill putt that we've got for birdie. It's going to give ourselves a chance at trying to make something here. You can see it's a few bobbles, just didn't give it the right pace. It's in that one to two foot range to try to make back to back pars. Yes. Well, two straight pars and a back-to-back -back par has got my spirits lifted. As we stand on the eighth tee, this is 172 to the center, but 186 to the pin. I feel like there was a little bit of a hurting wind, which was kind of strange, but I decided to go with a five iron here, and I'm going to hit a little bit of a draw, trying to keep that flight kind of low and get it to run all the way to the back, just in case I miss hit it, which is what I was thinking. <laughs> And this is pretty well struck, although it starts out right now. It starts to come back to the left, and it just hits on the lip of the bunker and rolls back down. If that drew six inches more, it would have been on the uh, collar there, but nevertheless, it hit on the lip and rolled down to this spot on the green side bunker here. I've got the 56 opened up, feeling pretty good with that new club length, starting to get used to it. And you can see that's a pretty good, nice let's call it a chunk and run there. And I was able to chunk and run it out to eight feet, which I think is pretty decent here to give ourselves a chance to make the third straight par. Yes, in the hole, well done. Well, three pars in a row and four total as we step, step up to the ninth tee. Still plus seven for the round. Hopefully get, can make a birdie here and claw one stroke back, but it's 157 to the center and 159 to the pin. And uh, gonna go ahead with the eight iron here. Let's see what we can do. I feel like this, this 160 club is, is just about right. This is not perfectly struck it's a little heavy if i'm honest it's going to come up just short and hit on the fringe of the green having only hit two greens in regulation today probably a contributor to my score nevertheless we have this chip in opportunity for birdie i really like this uh i kind of paced it off and i looked for this to move a little uh my left to right and you can see i threw it up on the hillside there and it starts to come back i just didn't just didn't give it enough effort probably didn't carry it quite far enough but that gives us six feet to the hole for par and that would be four straight pars if we could get this in the hole yes in the hole well done well, that's going to be a wrap on Southern Star today. After only hitting two greens in regulation and starting with a double bogey, triple bogey, and a bonus bogey, I was able to play the last six holes just one over par with four straight pars. We finished plus seven for the day, and even though I got knocked down early, I was able to get back up and answer the bell. My hope is that my embarrassing start can bring you a little joy and happiness knowing that we're all humans and we're all going to make mistakes. That is, of course, until we all get our cybernetic enhancements, but that is several decades away. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will see you on the course.